All right, <clears throat> this is Mackie McCandlish doing a Premier Sealed Scars event. Let's see what we've got. Oh, this guy's kind of cool. I lost to him before. Awful. Oh, the rest of them are cool. Not amazing, but cool. All are pretty playable. Well, if I played red and green. Um, He's really expensive, though. We'll see. If I have a lot of mirror, let's see. I got one, two, three. Do I only have three? Maybe there's some more down here. It looks like only three mirror to me. Okay, sort my color. Um, arrest, Glimmer Point, Glintox. So white's got play some playable stuff. Volition Reigns, but only one. Mm, Sir Tark is good for his cost. But the blue is not blowing me away. Black, I've got Icarats and a Blood Cleave Goblin and um, psh, not that much really. <laughs> a few spitter, yay! Hopefully my red's good. Okay, Gear Grabber, Shitty Elemental, Eruption, which is great. Um, Furnace Celebration, which I like a lot if I have the right stuff for it. Uh, Arc Trail, Shatter. Two Galvanic Blasts. Okay, I'm definitely playing red. Let's just get that started. Um, my red looks good. I like my red. Probably play him. Definitely play that. We can figure out the rest soon enough. I want to see if I'm going to be playing green or not, since I've got that crazy rare. Uh, I got Slice and Twain. It's At a glance, it looks like my effect is super weak. And my metal craft so far has not blown me away either. Huh. Mm, yeah, not, not blowing me away by the green. Let's see what really playable artifacts we have. He might be good. Oh, I'm in red, so he probably gets played. Um... Let's see where we go for Metalcraft. I love Corpse Curse, but if I only have one, it seems weird to me to play it. I, I really like the idea of playing like a couple Corpse Mirrors, uh, sorry, Corpse Curse in any deck. Oh, do I have any good way to proliferate this? This would be good with Furnace Celebration, so we'll put those together just in case. I really wish I had something that generated artifacts, which I haven't noticed yet, if I do have it. Um, calling Dias is decent. Sort of sorting these by what I perceive their quality to be. Oh, shit. Sweet. Is this actually any good? Spells get more, like, get less expensive. Oh, right. Maybe with, if I, if my green, you know, with some sort of crazy play to get these guys out and get the super guy out. When, yeah, you never know. Could be a cool trick. Oh, sweet tumble magnet. Two tumble magnets. So I do want to proliferate stuff, perhaps. Um, this one's good. And I don't really need to put more counters on it when I've got... Well, so far my proliferate's not the strongest. Okay. Huh. Well, what I'm going to do now is I am going to whip up a deck and pause it in the opposite order. I'm going to pause it, whip up a deck, and then I'm going to show you what I came up with. Okay, so I put it together a deck. It's a little on the odd side for me, but I think I want to try it. Um, it's heavy metal craft with only red, and I'm not, at least not currently playing my Arrest or my Glint Hawks or my Edge Right. 
or my glimmer point stag, which I you know it's all good stuff in white because I feel like with um like I've got some cool combos that might be my downfall, but they might work where I've got stuff that I can pay off sacrificing um, different ways I can sacrifice. I can grab equipment and sacrifice it. So, and I've got battle sphere that makes guys that I could sacrifice. I don't know. Hmm. I guess really, if I'm going sacrifice, I should be playing spell bombs. My spell bombs. Let's save this one. Save my mono red deck. My spell bomb presence is not strong. Hmm. Okay, I swapped a snap cell glider for a Moriarch Moriok replica and got a couple swamps in there. I think and I've got a bunch of lead and rear, so I don't think it's gonna be hard to get the one or two swamps for him, so let's see how it goes. And I've got some stuff I can swap between games if I need to for different situations. <laughs> 